What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'd like to talk about the Oaken Soul Ring nerf. Now of course this is a mythic item that is coming out with the High Isles chapter and if you're like myself you play here on console. We have not got to experience this ring yet because you know, the High Isles chapter is not released yet and it's still in the public test server and the Oaken Soul Ring was a ring that a lot of people were really excited about but it did seem to be extremely powerful. I made a video about this a few weeks back talking about how good it was going to be for solo builds. Now they've kind of tuned it back just a bit before i get into all the details i want to go ahead and apologize for not many videos being uploaded here on the channel uh, over the last about four or five days i have started a new job so i've been working a bit more than i kind of expected hopefully everything will get back to normal here on the channel and there should be videos you know every day or every other day now the oaken soul ring before the nerf gave 370 uh 3737 excuse me max health magic and stamina it also gave 450 weapon and spell damage 5280 armor 450 health regen magic regen and stamina recovery and 1973 crit chance and that was around an eight percent to nine percent crit chance bonus also, while equipped, you are unable to swap bars between your primary and backup weapon sets. So that's why a lot of people were really excited about this being kind of a one bar solo kind of build. But there were players reporting in the public test server that they were getting 100 plus thousand DPS with this. So, you know, 100 to 110K DPS with just a one bar build. So you're only using just a couple of abilities to get that. So Zoss decided to uh, tone it back just a bit. So now it's going to give you that 3,737 magic health and stamina still but of course you know while equipped you still are unable to swap bars that has not changed any but you're going to get major courage now which is 430 weapon and spell damage the 5280 armor 30 percent health recovery 30 percent stamina recovery a 30 percent magic recovery bonus a 12 percent spell and crit chance bonus and a 12 percent weapon critical chance bonus not a lot of changes, but some changes to nerf it just a bit. You know, it doesn't really sound bad when you read it. It's still going to be really powerful. There's still players reporting they can get 80 to 90,000 damage or maybe 90,000 plus. Not quite 100, but you're still able to get a lot of damage with this with just a one bar build. Will this stand as it is? I'm not sure. As the public test server goes on, the this may get tweaked a bit more. Zoss may decide it's still a bit too powerful or if players are pulling really big numbers still i don't think zoss wants you know players to be able to put a mythic item on and run around and be able to do tons of damage just with a couple of abilities because you're only going to be able to be on that one bar compared to players that are having to you know use several different sets and bar swap using two bars uh i, I think they're trying to even that out so it's not really a you know disadvantaged really to run two bars which i know kind of sounds crazy considering you would think that a two bar bill would out dps a single bar build by a lot but as of it's kind of as it stands right now anyway this solo one bar build is still going to be very very powerful but they did decide like i said to tweak it just a bit to make it not quite as powerful we'll kind of have to wait and see if they make any more tweaks to it before the public test server or you know before that test period is kind of over and the actual you know content releases live on pc and of course you know later on in the month of june on uh, console but leave me a comment with your thoughts if you're playing on pc let me know what you think about the ring now you know since it has been nerfed and if you're on console you kind of disappointed we didn't get to experience the full power of this ring uh before you know it was nerfed i, I kind of hate that we don't get to you know participate in the public test server understand why we don't but I kind of hate we don't get to, you know, see some of this stuff before it is nerfed because sometimes some of these items sound really cool. And then the time by the time we get them on console, they're not quite as exciting as they once were. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.